Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and this video continues last week's video where we talked about positional representations inside of Autodesk Inventor assemblies. Now we're going to take those positional representations and place them on drawings. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is recap a little bit off of last week. I'm going to start out with the positional reps we created in last week's video and just show what we've done. A master which is the retracted position for the shock, extended which is the extended stroke, and then free which just allows me to move the shock back and forth freely. So now let's go ahead and place those views on a drawing. I'll start a new drawing and place my base view with the master or retracted positional rep. We'll place one view there and then an isometric view. Now with that done, I'm going to go ahead and click on my overlay icon and I'll overlay a view. In this case, I'm going to choose extended. And we'll see the overlay of the extended shock position as reference lines. I'll go ahead and repeat that and this time I'm going to do it on the isometric view as well. So now we see the overlay on the isometric view. Additionally, I can go to my annotate tab and I can dimension both the retracted view, which I'm doing right now, and then we can go ahead and dimension the extended view. So I can show the measurements for both positions. And just like that, we can create positional representations, place them and reference them in the drawing, adding a great deal more information than just with separate views alone. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everybody.